2009 NFL draft. I'm just talking about the first round of the quarterbacks. Number one pick overall, Detroit Lions took Matthew Stafford with their first pick. Um, New York Jets took Mark Sanchez. Tampa Bay Buccaneers took Josh Freeman. So Matthew Stafford by far better than Mark Sanchez, not just by the fact that he's still playing, <clears throat> but by most people's eye test statistics, the guy, I mean, but he got, he got to the wrong franchise. He just no other way to say it. And he still managed. He was like the all time leader in like fourth quarter comebacks. Cause like they were always behind and, he always was hurt, but he would play hurt. The guy's a gamer, true, like one of those guys you could honestly say loves the game. Um, constantly, constantly injured, but plays through it, gets through it. Won a Super Bowl finally with the Rams. Now he's injured again. Um, I mean, this guy's got tons of yards. He used to call him, you know, Matt uh, padding the stats. You know, it's like Skip Bayless would call him like uh, stat padding as a kind of a joke on his name. Mark Sanchez was not a bad quarterback you know got his team to the he had a great great coach great defenses um one of the few left-handed quarterbacks um Dan, uh, steve young michael vick mark sanchez i think tua is left-handed but i think naturally right-handed but he definitely throws his left hand not too many left-handed quarterbacks uh in the league ever but he was definitely one of them um he hurt his shoulder that's it you know i mean you don't, you know, I don't think he had much arm strength, whatever. He's great on TV, super smart. You know, I, I, I think he's better than most people. You know, he didn't, his coach didn't believe in him. It's clear every time Rex, <laughs> Rex talks about him. He didn't believe in Mark Sanchez. Um, Josh Freeman, pretty much a bust. Guy was apparently a head case. I don't know. I think he might have even been bipolar, Nebich. I'm not sure what happened with him, but a lot of head injuries. Uh, he was good on the Bucks because their team, their their defense was amazing in those years. 